If I hit this ball right again, I'm going to toss this club. I was caddying in Tampa. I had the afternoon off, so I was going to play golf, and I had just received a new driver. Get on the golf course. I was hitting it both ways, hitting it a little left, hitting it a little right. That was frustrating for me. I just walked straight to that uh, 15 tee and hit my tee shot. And when I hit it, I had already had in my mind, if I hit this ball right again, I'm going to toss this club. When I hit it and I looked up, it was going toward the right bunker. I just slung it. I welded it. I was so frustrated. I threw it as hard as I could, as high as I could, and it got stuck in the tree. After we finished playing, I came back to that tree to try to get my driver down. So I'm looking up. I finally see it. So I grab my orange whip, and I'm throwing it up in the tree to try to knock the driver down. And my orange whip gets stuck up in the tree. So I go to the golf cart. They had the sand bottles. So I'm throwing the sand bottles up in the tree. The sand, every time it hits the ground, the sand comes out of the bottle. So now it's becoming light. And once I throw it up there, it got stuck up in the tree. So I got uh, a driver, an orange whip, and two sand bottles are stuck up there in the tree. So now it's nighttime, and I'm steady trying to get this driver down. So I grab the tee marker, and I'm throwing it up in the tree. It finally moves. Coming down, it gets stuck in a fork in the tree. So now I'm like, Shh. I got to hit it from the butt of the club, and it has to pop up, hit it hard enough where it can pop up and then come down. So I'm out there, I'm sweating, steady tossing this t mark up, and it finally comes down. And when it came down, I had so much relief, I was like, oh, thank God. But I will never throw another club as long as I live.